Go ahead. All right. So I'll start off with my credentials since apparently they matter. Oh, they definitely don't matter. I'm an eight year military veteran. I'm a college student. Thank I'm you. a black woman. And I believe that white privilege doesn't exist. So we're going to start with that. Thank really you quick. for your service. Thank and you for your service. The reason why white privilege exists is because you guys refuse to acknowledge the history that put people in this position. You want to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist when white people had a upper hand for 250 years to develop generational wealth and that black people didn't get the right to vote until the 60s and you're going to tell me that white privilege doesn't exist? So, that sounds okay. like so it exists all, because about you guys black, got the yeah, upper hand. What, what's say, funny yeah. about that is blacks are, are do, were doing better during Why that time. Why do we always under, call people under, blacks? No, because, well, because you, you did. Can we just be black people? Can we just be like African Americans or something? Why are we just The black blacks? community, how would you like it said? What makes you feel better on the inside? Really, anything else other than what you're saying. What, what, tell, tell me, I'll, I'll say how you want anything it. Else I'll tell you how you need it. Tell me how, what makes you feel better. Literally anything else other than what you're saying. Okay, anything else. Why is that anything else, right? In the Jim Crow era, blacks were doing better. Economically, we're outpacing whites under the Jim Crow era. Then we, uh, doing, let's then we are doing. It not probably done, has to do with the fact that we had our own communities before the fucking KKK the came and burned the them KKK down. The KKK were Democrats, but give me a second. So after 22 trillion dollars of government handouts and a black president for after for, how many years of slavery years, and, black and 44 white presidents, we in the Jim 44 Crow era. white how male presidents, oh, 97 percent white male Congress. So you're actually the reason why people like us can't do well because they sold to your our oppression and you bought it. Blacks were doing better Barrett. under the Jim Crow. If Pro you era. acknowledge the oppression of other people, we can heal from it. No, we but can't. But if you want no, to ignore can't. it, we, we won't can't. have anything happen. That's not how that's not how this works. Dialogue and acknowledging things doesn't make us suddenly rich. So there's a it's a real I, there's a question I do want to ask, which I can't seem to get an answer. What can she not do in America that a white person can do? What opportunity? You served in the military. You've made good choices. You're getting rewarded for them. You're going to live in the American middle class. What privilege do I have that you don't have that is based on skin color, not on wealth or socioeconomic status? Please. The fact that you are sitting here with like little to no education trying to talk to people about white privilege is white privilege. Tell me one thing I said that's wrong and don't use an argument from authority. Make a good argument. I have a degree. I'm arguing from authority I have I'm telling you my life experience. That's not your life experience. That's a degree. Really? I'm sorry. Did you live my life? That means nothing. Did you live my life? That means that's a degree. You're not smarter than him because you have a degree. Just so you know that. That's a fallacy. That I can do. That's a fallacy. Name one thing that you can't do that I can do. Um, I don't know. I can't make a whole dollar. What? You can't? Why? Oh my god. You're, you're trying to tell me in the military women aren't paid the same as men for equal work? Um, in the military, up until two years ago, women weren't even allowed to do most of the jobs that Answer the question. Do. You just said you couldn't make a dollar. You said you could not make a dollar. You served in the military. Which not is to mention that people in the military Sorry. actually get paid a bullshit wage, but we're not going right, to talk guys, about so that. Now we're moving yeah, let's talk about, about that is no, 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 no. Let's nothing talk to do about with skin color. That you want to say that what? everyone in the military what can has I not do? a shitty wage. A feminist so line, that makes it right. Feminist lie, and they also sell, there's so many different ways they sell you your oppression, and she has purchased all of them today. So right now we are on sexism, right? So she's saying that I can't make a full dollar. Yes, you can. If women stop so, so going in. I bet he got paid more to be here than you did. speaking, okay? If women stop going into career fields like fashion and Vogue and journalism, and, psychology. and we start going into fields like engineering, the, like engineering Business. and hard academics, Finance. we will make the exact same money that if men. Make. The the, the uh, wage gap is a myth and a, a myth. lie. It's a myth and a lie, okay? Can I say it? It's a actually a myth and a lie. I understand that you need to be oppressed, but you are you have just heard from two black people that haven't purchased their oppression from the Democrat Party. Respect that. And, and, and what what frustrates me is you served our country which deserves to be applauded. And you have lived a life of a victor, and you have the gumption to tell me you're a victim without evidence. You were not able to cite one thing that you cannot do that I can do. If you make good choices, you will get those choices rewarded. And you brought zero evidence except an argument from an authority and an insult to my lack of a college degree of which I am so proud of because I'm not indoctrinated because I didn't go to college.